Like, I know that I'm getting old now because I forgot that Kanye and Jay-Z have, like, kids already that are, like, 12 years old, bro. Yeah, Isn't yeah, Blue really? Ivy, like, 12, 13 or anything? Yeah, I think so. Wait, really? And, like, Saint or Northwest is already, like, 10, 11 years old already, too? Yeah. Watch. Fuck, we're getting old. That's what I think. Right. See what the fuck I mean? That shit made me realize, like, goddamn, I thought they just had babies, like, four years ago. How long have Kanye and Kim been married? Goddamn. Yeah. Oh, it's not Ivy Blue. Her name's Blue Ivy. She's already ten. Never mind. Still ten? Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. She's eight. North Northwest is eight. I'm gonna stay. I always wonder what song this is. Watch. Play. This is literally. Let me go through that playlist real quick. Let me go through Devonte shit. I'm about to show Devonte. The fucking Optimus Katana that fucking inspired the nation. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like. <laughs> Bass drum is. That was it. That was the least liked song from me personally. You didn't like that song? This. Bitch, this shit right here, bro. If I knew you when you did this, bro, I would get on this beat. Like, you fucking rape this shit. This flow, everything. Like, fuck Childish Gambino, bro. Like, this is Katana shit, bro. This is ridiculous. Thank you, brother. The beat, bro. Like, everything. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, dog? Like, that was at Theodora. If you were to record this now, bro, like, this was ahead of its time. If you were to record this now, bro, you would have fucking literally put everybody on the map. We released the video. Listen to this. Dude, fuck. Yeah. This shit's got a lot of songs out there. Think so? This beat, bro, and the way you flow to it, it just rides so smooth. I should do a video too. Do a video too. I, the thing about me is I, I love beats with vocal, like, samples behind it, like chants or humming or anything. Like, and then the way you flow to it, shit, dude, it's perfect, bro. It's all me and Charlie Luke. That's when Charlie was inspired. Happy New Year, year folks! Year. The Pillow Talk Happy Podcast with the boy Trill, Don P, Debo Amigo, aka Kitana. Yeah. Oh, shit, man, we are back. Yeah, dude. It is a new year. We did have a little uh, you know, technical difficulties last year. That's why we couldn't finish up. But we here. We back. We'll finish up the season. <laughs> we popping, yeah, yeah bro. Poppin'. Shit. Let's get let's get her done, bro. I'm still tripping that it's 2022. Bro. I know, man. I'm glad all of us made it, nigga. Cause shit, dude. dude like, I've been Lord. stressing shit all year and stuff, and now that it's over, I'm hoping that this shit is a completely different milestone, bro. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you said that, King, because not that many people made it through the year. And I mean, like, life-wise, like, yeah, a lot of people right. passed last year. A lot of people that I know. A lot of people I mean, that I know. People that both of y'all know. And yeah. it's, it's just crazy, man. You know, like, yeah. this, this pandemic is still going on, but at Dude, the same time. Omicron, all that shit, like, new variants, 2-2. Two, 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 when you say we're already halfway through the alphabet, like, it's crazy to think about <laughs> it like that. Yeah, like... The amount of shit that has gone in the past, what, two years? Like, when did this COVID shit happen? Like, about two well, years ago? It, 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 the official lockdown started in March of 20, 2020. March of 2020. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. I like, just got out of jail the day of the lockdown, which is, I think, the 17th. You blocked the fuck out, bro. Literally, they kicked every, every non-violent offender out. They just needed to clear us out because oh, I heard they there were was doing that, so yeah. much space in there. And I was in there for a DUI, and by the time they fucking breathalyzed me down at the station, I was already... I remember that, bro. That's just fucking crazy. Yeah, that shit is crazy. <clears throat> Man. It's, what a year. What a year, yeah. bro. But once that lockdown happened, like, three months of all everybody's lives, like, fucking Thanos snapped, like, yeah. was gone. Like, yeah. nobody wrecked, like, fuck those three months, bro. Yeah, I remember that shit was hell. Yeah. But at the same time, it pushed all three of us together, because it was like shit... Like, right after now lockdown hit, 
it was like, dude, we fucking started doing it up sick, bro. Like, <coughs> and we low key been rocking and rolling ever since. So. Uh, yeah, we've been shit. We've been hits, we're, videos. We're at the end of our fucking season, nigga. Like, yeah, that's yeah, the bro. Part, nigga. Fuck oh, yeah. Episode Damn, episode nine. Is. Damn, yeah, Shout out to everybody that's been a part of this shit, bro, for real, because this has been a, a real. really good experience, bro, for all of us. A good new learning block and shit. Like, yeah. we're doing stuff like that we've haven't gotten done in a while, bro. Like this, this, this year, so much shit happened, but at the same time, we got everything done this year, bro. Yeah, we 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 had ups, we had downs, we had in betweens, nigga. Like, yeah, dude, shit. And throughout all that, you know what I mean, we kept it pushing and, and, and was able to, you know, really make some big moves this year. We dropped our music video this year, fucking, uh... You Ain't Us. You Ain't Us. Go yes, check that bro, out. It's yes. on YouTube. Fucking going hard, bro, like... And we filmed that shit. Yep, we filmed, we edited, we, we made the beat. Everything. We, Shout we out to fucking Trill everything. Hippie and shit, like, fucking yeah, Katana, he's everybody. Yeah, yeah. Kim's behind. Bro. Trill's definitely behind a lot of the mixing. He's held us down, dude. Made the a majority lot of, shit. of the mixing. Yes, bro. Fucking yeah. definitely. Editing, everything. Like, yeah. these videos and shit take a lot of time and stuff. And <coughs> you've been yeah, locking it down, bro. Shit. And, I, and I appreciate y'all, man. Like, yeah, sticking bro, around. Yeah, bro. Getting the, the content done that we need to get done. Dude, this journey's gonna be crazy, bro. I know it, dude. So I'm glad to be involved, bro. This shit. year gonna be tight, you know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. I already know we got a lot of shit lined up, a lot of videos y'all gonna see, you know what I mean? Definitely a lot of fucking videos. We need to run it up. Run Definitely it up. The main fucking him. idea. We got all the way in with me. All the way in. Yeah. Got a whole album that's gonna drop with videos. King's been sitting on this album and it's fucking fire, bro. Yes, sir. I'm not even gonna. He's say been partying next just... door in us for like a while yeah, now, bro. Real. Like, cause I was uh, sorry for the wait. Goddamn, right. you know, you know. it's gonna be worth the wait though for sure. At least like it's gonna be hitting hard, bro. So, yep. I'm one look forward to, to that shit, bro. For it's sure. one of those albums that you. I feel like you gotta listen to from start to finish. Yeah, you know what I mean. Definitely. Like, yep. And then then pick your favorite song. Yes. We didn't heard all the songs because yeah, obviously. numerous times. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and y'all but. probably have heard them too because I'd be playing them on the sneak. Um, you been getting uh, little leaks and, and shit. You yeah. might have been a little privileged so throughout might, the season, but yeah, fuck, you might have really been paying some, attention. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> but hey, man, I, I can't wait to drop that. The, you know, they can't wait to drop their projects, man. It's been a long time coming to get to this point where we're really making some big moves. You know what I mean? So I, I appreciate y'all, man, for sticking in. Oh shit, dude. Uh, Real quick, I want to have like a little quick little moment of silence or just a little pause for the calls. Uh, we had a few people pass last year. We had Betty White pass. We had John Madden pass. And we had Draco Mueller pass. Oh, and Slim 400 too. So. Um, and this year, Bob Saget as well. Oh, yeah. Bob Saget passed this year too. So, you know. So rest in peace to them and, and condolences to, to them and their family. Their families, so, yeah, man. Uh, you know, it's. It's been a hard couple of years since COVID started. Niggas have been going crazy, bro. Like, crazy, nigga. So, you know what I mean? If, if I were you, shit, I'd stay strapped up. I, I mean, security up if you can. <laughs> However, you got to move. Move right and move smart out here. Damn, man. no longer. Yes, here in Albuquerque, playing, shit is bro. rough as fuck, bro. Especially here in Albuquerque. I don't know how far these pods are going to branch out, but yeah. for now, bro... Albuquerque, y'all stay strong and safe, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Shit's crazy as fuck nowadays, bro. Too many people are dying over stupid shit, bro. Dying over yeah, the littlest man. shit. Dying too quick and young, too. For mm -hmm. Crazy mm -hmm. shit, yeah. bro. Would your, would your youngin just say that somebody in the past couple days ran into... They, we don't know if they ran into the rail... rail uh, uh, oh, the rail runner. The yes. rail runner. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah. You told me that story right when Got I Got drug the across the fucking city pretty much damn near and they closed off a lot of the roads on the way off of work or once he got off of work and shit like cause they had to clean them and, you know, damn. it's the fucking we tent. don't know we don't know if it was you know somebody just a homeless person we don't know if it was a suicidal person at this point yeah, it's just yeah. a John Doe but like you were yeah. saying it's the tent it's the fucking tent it's bro, been like, 10 days and there's been so much shit fucking happening already like it's fucking ridiculous the fact that you got I think Three or four homicides already right now, too, here in Albuquerque. Yeah, already. On yes. top of the accidental and natural causes and stuff, like, you have four homicides and stuff. Like, that's it's, fucking that's crazy. So many, like, non-related COVID deaths. And I think yeah. uh, one of them, thankfully, I think one of them was uh, 
it almost was a double homicide. Like, there, in one of the incidents, it would have almost been five homicides because one of them's in critical condition right now. Like, the the gunplay here is ridiculous. It's fucking gotten so fucking out of hand. Yeah. Uh, everybody's strapped now. Yeah, exactly. From fucking 16 to our age. But the wrong other, people are strapped. The wrong sure. people. Like, if it was the right people that are strapped, like, this would be Texas or some shit. Like, everybody in Texas is strapped. You know what I mean? But you don't really fucking... We, dude, like... We have seventh graders. What last year? What what happened? Like, in, what was it? Jefferson, like Washington. Washington. Remember, I was telling you my daughter threw the biggest fit because we wouldn't. Me and her mom weren't going to send her there. Yeah. <clears throat> Turns out she wasn't. She was, in her words, she knew both the shooter and the person that got killed. You yeah. know what I mean? So she she didn't know how to react you know when when everything happened it's a little traumatizing bro like, yeah like she yeah. literally she literally came to me and her mom and like cried in our arms telling us like thank you for not sending me there i understand now you know but she still doesn't yeah. understand because i mean she does she does get it i, mean, I can only imagine how traumatizing it'd be to be a sixth grader during covid and finding out that one of your friends is dead by another one of your friends you know <laughs> what i mean like yeah. so it's I don't know, man. <laughs> it's crazy shit to think about, and it's just getting younger and younger in the city we grew up with. Like, when we were younger, we thought we were hard as fuck. The shit we did, we thought we fucking, like, were, like, yeah. fucking hard as shit, like, hot yeah, shit. Yeah, and yeah. But back then was, like, throwing hands days. Exactly, yeah, bro. We, we got our ass beat. Back to that. I, yeah. I remember in middle school, I remember a 6th or 7th grader brought a 350 or a 350 revolver to the fucking uh, school. And uh, he got caught up with it, didn't shoot nobody and shit, but, like, nobody ever died and shit. Yeah. That was the worst shit that ever happened. Someone brought a gun to school, yada, yada, Well, see, yada. I took a BB gun to school. I don't know if Me you know too. this. Oh, I, re- I, I did this. That. But they, they made it such oh, a big no, deal. no, it's funny that you said I did the same shit with a homie, and I got the same, <laughs> probably, repercussions and shit that you fucking I had to wait till I was 18 before it got dropped for my charges. <laughs> yes, yes. But we were literally just playing around shooting yeah. each other in the hallway. No, uh, dude, for real, too. Like, the homie pulled it out in class, shot it off, ricocheted everywhere. And shit. Teacher threw a fit, bro. The cops came, sheriffs and shit. Right? Like, I, oh, I they got, cuffed us. They cuffed yeah, us. Yeah, they prepared. treated it like it was about to be Columbine number two. They yeah, no, for real. Around, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, whether this is airsoft or not, you can poke somebody's eye out and shit. There's repercussions that fucking happen all the time. We get it, bro. We get it. We get it. Okay. We're kids. Yeah, you did what you had to do and shit, but it, I'm glad, like, like, fucking New Gen's holding it down. Like, holding it down, bro. Like, you went through the same shit, dude. That's the funniest <laughs> shit. The same exact scenario, bro. I went to John Adams Middle School, okay? I went 6th through 8th grade, bro. What middle school did you go to? Wilson. Okay. You probably know my baby mama. But like, that's another topic. Fucking, dude, like, <laughs> the fact that Albuquerque's so small and shit, like, dude, like, it's crazy, bro. There's a lot of shit that goes around. And I'm thankful that we grew up the way we grew up and shit and didn't resort to all that gun violence, bro. Like, oh, bro, because nowadays it's so normalized. Damn, it's smoky as fuck. Yeah. Cut that shit, nigga. Just to make the video look stupid. It's gonna be foggy as hell in this bitch. Fuck you up, Zay. Anyway. I thought I was, I thought I was being paranoid. <laughs> no, I, I, see I saw some dude. smoke come through the door. I'm gonna fuck you up, Zay. Oh, it's, oh, it's uh, Nick, though. Yeah. Thank it's God, otherwise we're going to all be sitting here like this. <laughs> so the next topic on New Gen. <laughs> well, I'm about to be like that in a minute. Yeah. I had an edible earlier. I'm feeling good. Speaking of New Gen news page. Mm. Check it. <laughs> yeah, we're coming yeah. with short breaking news clips coming soon on the New Gen news page, which is also new. And we also got him on Facebook and New Gen. So go or on. on <laughs> and Instagram. And Instagram. That's what the fuck I was trying to say. On Instagram. Do we have so a take your ass to Instagram. Yeah, we have two. We have a Facebook and an Instagram. A and a Twitter. No, I don't have a Twitter. We'll make a Twitter. That's, e- well, <coughs> that's easy. I can make it for us. Right. But yeah, y'all want to keep up with the latest? Trust us. Yep. We are on that shit. We, we know <sighs> what's popping. And if you feel like the source you're getting your news from isn't reliable, come follow us. Fuck with us. We'll follow you back. We'll show you love. Yep. But we're going to put out that news, whether it's local, whether it's, you know. Especially local. Uh, we're doing free promo yes. for the next few months. You know what I mean? Two to three months. So uh, if you want to get on our page and get some free promo for whatever the fuck you're doing, whether that's Come videos, on, bro. Uh, music, uh, art. whatever the fuck you're doing, art, yeah. 
uh, R and B. Uh, you could even just Dude, if you got brands, bro. Yeah, just, hey, clothing. Shoot it to my motherfucking inbox. If you would, it'd be on the new gen newspaper. For real, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, dead ass. Like, Anything, bro. Please. You know what I mean, just yeah. don't get weird with it, nigga. Um, <laughs> yeah, no only fan page. Because yeah, we'll yeah, reply. Because <laughs> we will reply, <laughs> and you will not like the fucking answer. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. But let me see. Let's see. Let me see what else we can get into here. What we can really dig into. Oh yeah, <laughs> LP Gutta. Shout out to LP Gutta. He yeah. dropped this video. That video nasty. Nasty. Yeah. Nasty. That shit goes hard. And he filmed it at the rail yards. Yep. Going on. Shout bro. out. Yeah. Shout, shout out. out to the rail yards. And Definitely. Shout out to LP Gutta. Hell yeah, man. I Not that gang, bro. For sure, bro. holding it down too, bro. Yep. That's yeah. crazy, bro. If y'all notice, LP has been in a lot of our through the lens videos, so you know, go check that out. He's and stay fucking tuned. Up. Stay tuned. You know what I mean? Yep. Cause <laughs> he might, you know, be a consistent guest on the show, so y'all never know. Exactly. Um, Hell yeah. What else? Oh, the new Spider-Man movie came out. Don't spoil it too much. I ain't seen it yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, there's no spoilers. No, there's going to be no spoilers. Okay. I'm what like, I got to say, okay, the reason they're saying that is I fucking seen it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm in the hot seat, but technically I'm not in the hot seat. Well, because tell us about it without telling us about it. It's everything everybody fucking wished for. So it's, the original Peter Parker's in it. Don't spoil it. No, no. I didn't say so that. So he's not in there? No. What the not. hell are you saying then? What I'm saying <laughs> no, is I'm that... <laughs> what I'm saying is that the you know, Rubik's Cube, bro, is a little bit, like, fucked up right now. But once you see it, bro, you're going to be like, fuck it. It's okay. It was worth the fucking wait. Perfect, bro. Like, everything fit together. One of the hands down, in my opinion. And since these guys fucking... I knew you were a Spider-Man fan. I didn't know you were a diehard Spider-Man fan. But since we're all diehard Spider-Man fans, bro, this is going to be the hands down, the best Marvel movie ever made for now. Because, you know, you got the Spider-Verse uh, 2 coming out, the, oh, the animated see, the yeah. animated movie coming out. Yeah. You got um, Morbius. That's right. That's right. Morbius. As soon as it comes out. Um, all kinds of shit, bro. So, you know what I mean? But this Spider-Man movie met fucking a lot of expectations, bro. And it's fucking ridiculous. I mean, so. just from the trailer of the, what, third Peter Parker now? to the very first Peter Parker's nemesis in the second movie with yeah. the eight legs. What's his name? Dr. Uh, Octopus? Doc Ock, bro. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Oct- Dr. Octopus, bro. Yeah. Amazing, bro. Like, it's uh, dope. It's crazy. That's yeah. all, Just from seeing that in the trailer, I was sold immediately. Like, I'm still I'm still planning to get tickets and go in and check it out. Do it, bro. Out. We all got to do it. Let's do, yeah, like, some yeah, Through yeah, the Lens yeah, for the we'll fucking Spider-Man shit. movie and shit. Like, it's, gonna, it's worth it. Ill. I'm going to fucking watch it. Every f- I would, I'm down to watch it two, three, four, as many times as I need to in the fucking theater. That's how good of a fucking movie it is. Who knows how many Easter eggs you might pick up on? There's a shitload. There's a fucking goddamn shitload. That's and I can't that. fucking say none because it's gonna fucking it's spoil spoiling. shit for you. There's so many and new. Sh- there's so many new villains they're gonna bring into the fucking Spider Verse and shit. Oh, there's so many new. Uh, oh my god. So many crazy shit that the comic books like they've been wanting to bring in that's gonna be so fucking amazing and shit, dude. It's gonna. You guys are gonna fucking love it. If you're diehard comic book fans, if you're fucking just getting into the video game even, it shows so much shit like that you can relate to the video games because the video games has some shit from the comics. Like it's fucking dope, bro. Um That's it's amazing. Sick, yeah. Dude. Like oh, I, I don't wanna wait. spoil no wait. shit because it's gonna be worth the fucking <laughs> wait. That's it. Like worth the fucking wait. Definitely. Bro. I'm excited. Ten I'm out excited. of fucking ten. I'm excited. Well, real quick, speaking of comics, uh, let me throw this in there real quick. The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Their comic started early 2003, I believe. Uh, The last of their comic book edition ended, I think, two or three years ago. But, long story short, season 11 of The Walking Dead, which is my favorite fucking show... It's Definitely ending not. this year. It's the final season. No shit. They've bro. had three spinoffs. Or no, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, technically three because yeah. they had webisodes. But they had three spinoffs. Okay. Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead World Beyond, and they also have the Rick movies, which Rick Grimes, the main character of The Walking Dead. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but there's a you know in the ninth season they think he dies, but he doesn't. He gets saved by like a helicopter. It's a part of this organization called the CRM. Okay. Long story short, so many people, so many Walking Dead fans are out there, like, just literally counting the days. When he comes the fuck. When the movies come, but not only that, oh, but when shit. the last season starts. The last season okay. starts February. 
So we're only less than a less than a month. So away. a lot of diehard fans oh, yeah. hoping for Rick. They're hoping for Rick, but but it's confirmed Rick's not coming back to the show. Okay. okay. Rick is gonna have his own movies, oh. and and in my mind it's gonna be how he escaped the CRM and got back to his family, yeah. Actually, his own life. It, I don't know if it's been confirmed he hasn't came gonna isn't gonna come back to the show. It's only been confirmed that his last episode was his last episode, but that was. 2017, 18, you know? Okay. So, what, five, six years, four or five, six years ago? I don't know. Damn, dude. Okay. So, you never know. Yeah. You know? Like, real. I don't know if you've ever seen Fear the Walking Dead. Rather, have you seen mm-hmm. No. I don't know if you guys seen Fear the Walking Dead, and I'll cut the ramble after this, but Madison, the main character, she supposedly died, but now she's coming back. And it's like... You know, like what? Shit. So the, they're realizing these these editors. So you're these, saying these, she's coming back? Is she coming back? You said she, she was in the Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking. So is she dead. coming back to the Walking Dead now? She's coming back to Fear the Walking. Dead. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, she was okay. the main one of the main characters of Fear the Walking Dead. Supposedly she died, but no one saw the body. You know what I mean? It yeah. was a flashback scene. Whatever okay. they were telling the story. There's a lot of loopholes that could play into the... Right. Okay. And even back then, fans were like, Madison's not dead. Because she was the mother of the two main characters. You know what I mean? So yeah. They were like, she's not dead. She's not dead. Morgan, the dude with the stick. Yes. He yes. went from The Walking Dead to Fear the Walking Dead. The same season, Madison supposedly died. People were pissed because they wanted to see both of them co-star in the same series. You know what I mean? Somebody from the OG series... And somebody from the new series like co-starring together. Yeah. And that never happened. Uh, so I think that's what they're trying to do now. Uh, okay. Okay. But yeah. Anyway. Oh, dude, shit. Fear the Walking Dead. This is the last year. The series is is over, guys. The <sighs> Commonwealth is here. It's a trip. It Shit's always crazy trip. when it comes to an ending, bro. Especially when it's a good show like that. And you it was s- a comic book in the beginning. You said twelve seasons. Uh, this will be 11. 11? But technically 12 because of COVID. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. That's... And this last season is being split into three parts. It's crazy to think Part about, A has already started. Part B is in February. Part C is okay. um, late summer, early fall. And then right. it's just over. So that's some shit to look forward to, dude. Damn, dope. That's fucking lit. Okay. Oh, and the Daryl and Carol spinoff. No they, got, they got so tales of the Walking Dead, like the rise of the governor. Damn, dude, shit, shit like that. Damn, bro. Yeah. And, and you keeping up with all this shit? Okay, bro. I'm damn, bro. Like you're in it. Like you're yeah, in it. Yeah, I'm, look, look, I'm gonna start my own podcast about the Walking Dead. No. <laughs> shit, stay For fucking real, tuned. Stay fucking tuned. Uh, I'm up to date with all that shit. So uh, we'll be able to go to the dispensaries in April. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Hallelujah, bro! Like, I, April we love first. Wood. April first, yeah, right? April first. It is confirmed. So yeah. we never we never struggle with bud around here. Okay, like <laughs> obviously. So <laughs> I'm pretty fucking lit right now too. But yeah, like, yeah, I'm lit. The ready. fact that we're gonna be able to go into fucking stores and buy whatever the fuck we need, like. Is amazing, bro. I've been waiting for this shit for fucking ever. I'm pretty sure all of you have been fucking waiting. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been fucking yeah, waiting. Yeah, I've been waiting for this shit. Those of us that are of age. I mean, you've had your privileges. You've had your car before, right? Mm-hmm. So you've, When I had my jaw surgery? Yeah, so you've you've had that shit. Um, you've got to enjoy it and shit. I remember fucking... I remember having weed lean. That shit was so... Oh, well, so, you talking about like Dane Cuisine and shit yes, like that? Yes, yes, bro. So, dude, and that shit would... Like, you would think like this is a joke take half the bottle down next thing you know you fucking and you're like oh damn <laughs> this yeah. is the real fucking deal yeah <laughs> i love shit like that i'm trying to feel like okay so check this out i know this is a little off talk to, uh topic but it's not at gnc the where you get all the protein shakes and all the vitamins and shit yeah they have uh uh-huh. receptor re Reloader or whatever, like yeah. supplements, you could take them and they uh, get rid of your receptors and shit, your tolerance. Oh yeah, yeah. What? pills. What? Yes. So, imagine stop smoking for a couple of days, three or four days, and you're popping those. So your tolerance just fucking drops, <laughs> and then you get to fucking get back to right what you're doing and shit. You know what I mean? It's they have it. I want to try them. I'm gonna get them at GNC soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test them for y'all. I'm gonna try them because I, I'm a fucking, I'm a heavy hitter right now. So it takes <laughs> yeah. a lot to fucking put me down, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? if I do that, bro, like, 
it's not a bad thing to be to have a low tolerance, bro. Like, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's I'm trying to get where y'all are. It's a fucking privilege, bro. And I'm sure you guys are probably like, damn, I wish we, you, I wasn't. I'm trying to get to work. Yeah, I'm trying to get to work. Mean? You're at, Where bro. I'm like, I smoke half a blunt and I'm tapped the fuck out. Yeah, chill you know there. Chill it. That, you're doing yeah. the right thing, bro. Yeah. That's all you need to fucking worry about. Us, dude, fuck. Like, I could smoke a half a gram of wax by myself and be like. A blunt gets me if I'm smoking by myself. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But I mean, mind but you, you don't have joint, to. That's a cigarette. I don't know because the blunt probably ain't a tobacco, but it, it's like a hobby now, bro. Yeah. Like, it's just to like I need it now. You know what I mean? So like I need a I need a reset, bro. I need a break, and not only that, like for my health too. I need a break for my health too. So, but the receptor resetters and shit, or what, reloaders, whatever you want to call them, I want definitely want to try that just to kind of get that feeling again, dude. I want to. Dude, I haven't gotten that lit in a while, bro. I remember, dude, shit back in the day, bro. Fuck, I used to half a J would have me fucking lit, bro, for I remember hours. You'd be like, is this real? <laughs> you hearing shit, dude? I remember. Yeah. I thought. You were you you hearing your own up. thoughts. <laughs> me and the homies were smoking underneath a uh, golf course one time, bro, and we fucking straight up. Uh, there was a bridge, bro. Like there was a bridge underneath that. So there was ditches in our neighborhood, and it ventured off into the golf course. And when you went towards the end, there was a little bridge where all the golf course, uh, golf courts would go over and drive to the other side of the golf course and shit. And I remember we got so lit one time, and we were in the ditches, and there was a manhole ditch that went deep into the darkness and shit that we would like kind of walk into in the beginning and kind of get high with. Yeah. We got high in there. We got lit. We did our thing, and me and the homies walked out, and we. Sw- I, dude, I swear to God, there was a golf cart going over the bridge. I thought it was a fucking, like, jet or a plane, like, fucking landing or doing Just something. Just the fucking time I ducked. I felt like mind. smoky, bro. I was like, shit, bro. Like, it was fucking intense, bro. Oh, like, man. to hear the sounds and shit and to be so high, bro, I miss that shit now. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't miss the scenarios and shit, but, like, you know what I mean? I miss the... I don't know. Like, fuck, dude. For like, me, it made me feel like I was so aware of everything going on around <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like... Uh, the very first time I got super, super high, like, to the point to where all I wanted to do was go to bed. Yeah. You know, I was 14 years old, and I was smoking with my cousins, and we were in a small-ass bathroom, like, well, not to call it your bathroom. Straight hot small. boxing, but yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, straight hot, not even the shower, dude, like, just, just the toilet, you know, just <laughs> a half a bathroom. Almost, yeah. you know, six, seven niggas in there, just hot box, blunt right? after yeah. blunt, you know what I mean? And we come out. And I just remember standing by the door for like 30 minutes, just trying to figure out if I wanted to sit on the couch, if oh, I wanted man, to leave, just lock, if I wanted oh, to jump on the no. game, if I wanted to go home. Like, I was literally just... just couch locked. But I was 14, yeah. you know? And I look at 14-year-olds now, and I'm like, what the fuck you doing smoking weed? You? You're a punk. Like, bro, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't want to put them on blast right now for the fucking, this pod right now. Maybe the next pod, or maybe in the comments or something, but a certain someone we all know. That we grew up with, or we watched him grow up with, damn near produced a lot of our shit. Oh, you know, yeah. You know what the fuck we're talking about, right? Yeah. I remember we got so lit, bro, one time. I got him lit for, like, the first or second time, bro. The <laughs> <laughs> first time he's ever gotten, like... And me, I'm a... I was like... There's a difference between Dom lit and me lit. Yeah. I've gotten him high before, too. <laughs> I'm sure you fucked him up. <laughs> so, dude, yeah, like, this was crazy, bro. So we had smoked, like, a blunt, maybe. And my blunts, you know what I mean, like... I'm there to smoke, bro. <laughs> we got so late, we're like, yeah, let's go to the fucking mall, let's go, we got an Uber and shit, we're like, fuck yeah, let's get some fucking food, we're gonna chill there, let's go shopping, let's get some clothes. We fucking pull up there with the fucking Uber, bro, we're just chilling, bro, we've been giggling and shit the whole way, dude, we get to the front door and we're just like... <laughs> Do I wanna go yeah. in there? <laughs> we think uh, about it, we uh, fucking yeah. think about it, we're like, literally like... Like it's that we look at each other. of a situation. Yeah, we got so nervous at the fact that like, what if we go in there and like, we're too high? <laughs> and we look at each, we like look at uh, we look at each other and we're like fuck the Uber just left and we're like fuck we just call another one we just like we literally called fuck Uber right when we pulled up to the bitch looked at the doors and waited a second we're just like all right let's fucking let's go back home and bro like we went back home and we chilled we were so fucking high like it's just so crazy I miss those fucking days bro I'm just trying to get on that shit bro and now that we have new gen as a fucking unit. Now that we have you guys as some fans and shit holding it down, we need to get more involved with that shit, bro. Maybe we do need to fucking take a tolerance break. <laughs> or I need to test out those fucking receptors and get it popping. Yeah, for real. Like, shit. We need to figure it out. And we'll what be getting we, to What if we have fans on here? 
or people who just want to be on the show and it's hot boxing with new gen, you know? Bro, oh, that'd be tight. That'd be tight. Let us know, dude. Give Let us, us know. ideas. Give yes. Us ideas on, uh, little I like, I like that. I hope watch song with New Jim. Yeah, bro. d will be in the corner taking his two puffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. We're here to put everybody <laughs> on, bro. We're here as a fucking unit in Albuquerque and then maybe soon worldwide, like we say in every other fucking, what, song, comment. Yeah, every, we're New Jim worldwide, bro. Worldwide, let us know, bro, whether you're a fan, whether you're just someone trying to get involved, whether you're trying to be part of us, whether you're an artist, whether you're... You just want to be noticed. Yeah, whether exactly. You, invite us to your podcast. Yeah, let's get real. it popping. Let's get let's get it connected, bro. Yeah. For real, let's do it, bro. Let's link, let's network. I'm You've gotten Il Ira involved, you know what I mean? You've gotten some well-known guests and stuff. You've yeah. gotten a lot of connections and stuff. You, you're yeah. going to have a lot of connections, too. Yep. I'm for trying the to next get season. Blood this next uh, couple of episodes, either this, the end of this season or the next season, I'm finna get him on here. I'm finna get, yep. uh, try to get Jay and Isaiah on 2. here. 2.0, bro. All these yeah. people I'm yes. mentioning, make sure you, you know, put their name in the comment, hashtag their name in the comments. Yes, you know let's I mean? get them involved, them, bro. Let's yes. Get, let's get it going. That's what it's all mean? about. Yeah, yeah dude. I want to get a lot of people. I have a, a homie named Dylan. Um, He's been hitting me up asking when nice, yeah. <clears throat> get on to We're trying to video. Yeah, we're trying to get everybody involved. Let's smoke a blunt with everybody, bro. Yeah. And then in all seriousness, we're trying to fucking get some business done as well, bro. Music wise and fucking anything, yeah. bro. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Merge shows, yeah, all that anything. all the Yeah, we're gonna anything. start doing merch here soon. I'm gonna try to get some you know, some designs going with Dom here and then yeah. I'm trying to get it cracking because uh, it's time. Y'all need to have part of new gen with you, you express know? the love yes dude you are gonna be seeing some shit soon dude for real um this could be the last topic and we can close it out but uh you was telling us about john bones jones and how you don't let nobody in his house and shit all right so why don't he let nobody in his house <laughs> all right so rest in peace um my mom's ex sasha you know, his, 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 you know, he's a big reason why I am where I am today. You know, yeah, it's a long yeah. story short. Yeah. You know, got me off the wrong path, put me on the right path. Yeah. His sister is best friends with John's wife, John Bone Jones' wife. So she goes over frequently, you know. And she said, you know, the first time she went over, it was just him, his wife, and all her girlfriends. Mm-hmm. She never noticed other dudes there yeah mm-hmm. and the last time she went which was like a month ago you know yeah okay she tells me and my mom that it turns out john bone jones don't un- don't allow any other niggas at his house what while his fuck? wife is there or oh, oh you know what i mean okay, 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 okay. or while they're having their little you know Get girls together. night like yeah. there's no other men allowed it's it's it, like he's the king of his castle like, which i mean, leave it to it i mean I fuck, understand it's, that. but at his level and what he's been through, like yeah, like, like, like we were talking earlier, like he's one of us at this point. Yes, yeah, bro. Like exactly. you know, yeah, like all the shit. He's a genuine dog. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Fucking, he's been through the shit in here already, yeah. bro. <laughs> he's trapped now, shit. Yeah, yeah bro. Like and, but and not even that. Like yeah. you said, he trained here. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Know what I mean? Like it's not just negative and shit. It's not just like all bullshit aside. No. This fool's one. He's the fucking. Heavyweight, heavyweight champion gym. because yeah. of fucking Jackson's gym, bro. Shout out to Jackson's gym, as which well. has expanded gym. over the years so fucking, much. fucking tremendously, yeah. bro. Yes, it was right by Highland when they first started. Yeah, not when they that. first started. When I first heard of it. Yeah, when yeah. I first heard of it, it was it right was by really Highland in, in the cut, and now it's like yeah. downtown. Keith, Keith Jardine, bro. Fucking Holly Holmes. Um, yeah. just powerhouses, bro. Fuck that have been involved in this shit. So fucking to have Johnny Jones here, I think I uh, I cleaned his manager's car out before when I was doing detailing jobs and shit. I've taken a picture with him. Cool dude, bro. Very laid back and shit. He's, yeah, he, he's, he's a real good dude. He was at the, the funeral, you know, no uh, shit, of, dude. of Sasha. Oh, yeah, shit. Bro, that's crazy. Like, he that's showed cool. up at the funeral and not too many people wanted to be starstruck because they were paying respects, you know Yeah, what I mean? exactly. So nobody really took pictures with them or nothing. But it was weird to see even him, like, you know, not just a grown ass man, but to see somebody famous tearing up over somebody that I loved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some heartfelt like, shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's it was crazy. one of his homies from Albuquerque that passed away. It's yeah. crazy, bro. You know, like his his heart's in the city. You yeah, can, you can tell it is. Yeah, you, you know. Know. yeah bro. So fuck, dude. Yeah. If we can get him on a pod one day, bro, let him say his side of the story. 
That'd be tight. Of, of, of all the shit he's been through. That'd be tight as hell. That's yeah. a goal right there, dude. Man. For real, bro. Get him on new. Hey, put it in the comments. Flood these fucking share flood all that shit. Yeah, you gotta smoke, smoke because of you, you, you know we we know you a fighter. We know smoke you're professional. C- yeah, smoke some CBD. We got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll make that extra trip. Play it whatever you need, bro. Let's um, let's, yeah. get, let's get it popping. Yeah, you ain't just thinking. So let's go ahead and close out. Uh, I'm happy that you know we were here and able to do this. Me shit too, with y'all bro. Again Fuck, dude. Um, before we get uh, too far to the end of the podcast, I do want to say uh, check out the Cash App. Um, we are taking donations, and Thanks, the donations bro. you give us, you'll get shouted out in the next episode of the podcast right at the beginning or the end. You know what I mean? Depending on where we figure out where to put some of these shout outs. Yeah. Um, uh, anything helps too, so it's not it's not a limit. Like we only accepting five dollars, <laughs> yeah. so, so, like nigga. If you all, all you, you got is give. two dimes in your account, you can, hey, bro. <laughs> anything helps, bro, because it, it that's helps a solid entry fee to, to new gym, bro. Yeah, you part of the click, bro. For You've real, done, yeah, bro. We're shit. trying to get these uh, uh, subscribers up too, so uh, make sure you subscribe to like the page if you're watching these yes, videos bro. and shit. Make Definitely sure you like, share this shit. With the homies and everything, man. Fuck yeah. Uh, shit. Well, yeah. I'm Trill Hippie. Don P. Devote Amigo. <laughs> yes, New Gen, we out.